All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the start of the Plutonia Experiment Walkthrough, played by me, Big Mac Davis, on the Ultra Violence difficulty for the PC, played through Z Doom. A little bit of history about the game before we start. The Plutonia Experiment was released alongside TNT Evolution in a game called Final Doom. Yes, there were two wads in Final Doom. TNT was the first, and Plutonia was the second. They were both released in 1996. The Plutonia experiment was designed entirely by only two people, and these two people were brothers, Dario and Milo Casali, designed all of Plutonia. In fact, if you remember those names correctly, the Casali brothers were members of Team TNT, and they actually designed a couple of the maps from TNT Evolution. To name a couple, they designed Map 28, Heck, and Map 32, Caribbean. I think they designed two more, though I could be wrong on that. I think Pharaoh was also designed by one of the Casali brothers. Anyway, enough of that. So yes, Plutonia was designed entirely by the Casali brothers, and in only four months' time, only four months to develop 32 maps. Each brother um, designed 16 maps apiece, making a total of 32 maps. No one knows, however, which brother designed which map as they never really brought out that information, so I don't know who designed each map, but it was definitely by one of the Casali brothers. So how did id Software get in contact with the Casali brothers? Well, the Casali brothers wanted to expand beyond Team TNT, so they sent id Software, like the company itself, they sent eight levels that they designed. It was an eight-level wad. They sent that to American McGee, and American McGee presented that eight-level wad in front of all of id Software, and they all loved it. So they contacted the Casali brothers and asked if they would design a mega wad with 32 levels in four months. The Casali brothers accepted, and when the um, when the game was finished, when Plutonia was finished, I think it was oh I can't remember. I think it was Dario Casali who said something to the effect of um, I was ready to throw out my computer out the window because of the development time or something of that sort. And, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine four months' time? That's not a long time to develop 16 maps apiece. And especially beautiful maps at that. The Plutonia Experiment, in my opinion, has the best map design out of all the four wads that it released. Ultimate Doom, Doom 2, TNT, and Plutonia. Plutonia is beautiful. Every single map I love. And that's saying a lot considering there are some maps in Ultimate Doom I don't like. Some maps in Doom 2 I don't like. A lot of maps in TNT I don't like. But none I don't like in Plutonia. Now of course some maps are better than others in Plutonia but that's beside the point. They're all great maps in my opinion. And you'll see why as we start playing through Plutonia. Um, so, yeah, enough of this rambling. Let's just get on with the video with Map 1, Congo. Getting 100% kills, items, and secrets. Alright, so there's a door to your left and right. You can take either one, doesn't matter. We'll take you to the same room inevitably. But you do want to be careful, there are a handful of shotgunners positioned on all sides of this upper area. So snipe them all off. In the middle section, you can flip this switch, which is the door that will lower, and you can grab some items from there. So, continuing on... We eventually come back to the starting room, and now we can go down the hallway. Now, what I like doing is killing the chain gunner up on that platform, then you can actually, from down here, snipe off both of the chain gunners from here. Kinda cool how you can do that. Anyway, from where the chain gunners are, turn around and then enter the left hallway. Now this wall will actually lower when you walk down the first step. So what I do is I run forward, let the wall lower, get inside quickly, 
Because, yeah, there's chain gunners over there. We'll get to those guys later when we have the super shotgun. Lower this crate down. Now be careful, when you grab the super shotgun, it will lower an arch vial. Yeah, and, you know, with all these pillars around, it can be sometimes hard for you, see like right now I don't know where, there he is, it can be hard to know exactly where he is at all times. So be careful of that, but you can also use the pillars to your advantage and hide from the arch vial attack. Back out here, this will re-lower with the two chain gunners. Back out here, we'll turn right and head all the way down here. Behind the pillar, just flip the switch and it will lower four walls in this room. Yeah, this can be kind of overwhelming. There are four revenants that will come from the four lowered walls. I'm just doing kind of like a waltz, kind of like a dance around all the fireballs. Handle this section however you can. It's not really forgiving, so... You know, you gotta have some skill to handle it, so... Pretty tough. But your reward is nice. You get access to all these rockets and the rocket launcher. So at least you get rewarded for all your troubles. And there's some health over here from the lowered pillar with the switch on it. Just head straight forward when you exit and go up the stairs. Grab the dead chain gunner's chain guns. And now we'll open up this door. Turn right, there is a chain gunner there. Now this part, when you walk forward enough, it will raise up... Well, that's what you get when you get hung up on the pillar. It will raise up that revenant, hide behind the pillar to dodge his attack. Turn left from the revenant and flip the switch. This will open up a door in the other room. Right there, that door will open up with the red key. You can head over here to grab some armor if you need it, but you have the mega armor. Now when you go to grab the red key, turn around and walk backwards with the rocket launcher equipped because of this right here, a pain elemental and a cacodemon. That's a secret area, we'll actually go there later on. Now have your rocket launcher ready again because when you step into this room, you get a mancubus who dies. Also, when you step in the room, there's two chain gunners. Yeah, can you already tell this is a very difficult map already, enough as it is? This is only map one, and it's pretty difficult. Now, about that secret area, just lower this like a lift. And, yeah, secret area with some shotgun shells. Your only secret of this map. So now we'll head back down the stairs from whence we came. Again, have the rocket launcher ready, or whatever weapon you think will be effective against the arch vial that will be released. And yeah, he'll constantly resurrect that, um, chain gunner that's up there, so that's kind of... you can't really avoid that. Die, chain gunner! There, the arch vial's finally dead. You can use your regular shotgun or chain gun to take care of the arch vial if he survives all your rockets. Anyway, head down this side of the hallway and open up the next door. There's the blue key on that pillar, but we can't reach it yet. A small trap with two chain gunners will open up when you step into the room. We'll ignore the imps for right now, open up the red door, flip the switch, which will lower the blue key, but be careful, Plutonia loves traps. And this one's a slight trap, it's not really dangerous, but there are two chain gunners. So if you don't know they're there, yeah, they can ruin your shit pretty fast. I just head up both sets of stairs here to take care of all the, uh, imps. Then we'll grab the blue key. We're almost done with this map. We just have to exit back out and go back up the stairs. And enter through the last hallway we didn't explore yet, right here. There are some chain gunners on the far side of this platform. Do your best to snipe them off. If you have rockets, you can use them. If you didn't use them all. Now they do give you rockets here for these three mancubi. This area can be handled very easily. Just use your rocket launcher. And then, um, 
After you fire some, you can hide back in the corridor. Or you can just fall down here like I'm doing. Wow, quit firing. My goodness. How many fireballs do you have to fire until you're satisfied? You can lower down this lift where the chain gunners were to grab their chain guns. And the medikit behind the uh, teleporter. Then you can teleport, which will take you back to this platform. Go through the blue door. And we're done. So let's just get out of here. That is Congo. As you can already tell, this is a pretty difficult map. The traps are already being used. Now, yes, in TNT Evolution, there were a couple of traps for map one, but this... This is a... Th it's hard to explain. The traps in TNT... I mean, blah, blah, sorry, I'm so used to saying TNT. The traps in the Plutonia experiment make you hide. They make you use... Um the terrain around you. You have to. Unless you have some big guns, but they don't give you big guns in map one. Well, they do give you the rocket launcher, but not a whole lot of rockets to use on all the enemies. This map is pretty difficult, uh, but if you take your time, the only really difficult spot where really it's it's the revenant area with the rocket launcher and all the rockets. You can hide from all the rockets, but the revenants are eventually going to you know, find your hiding spot and shoot you from there. So it's a repeated process of just dodge the Revenant rockets and hope you don't get hit by them. That's the only really difficult spot in this entire map. Aside from that, if you know where the traps are, it's not that bad. Though there are a lot of traps. And this will be repeated numerous times throughout the Plutonia experiment and the traps will only get more nasty. And I'm looking forward to every bit of it, because at least it's fair, unlike Mount Payne. Next, we got Map 2, Well of Souls. I'll see you next time in the Plutonia Experiment. I'm Big Mac Davis. Take care, everybody.